this is your computer teacher Kuratul N and today we will study lesson 4. We will study week 4 lecture of computer sciences. This is syllabus for week 4. In week 4 we will start our new module, module 2 and in this week we will cover only task 1 of module 2. And task 1 of module 2 will be about formatting the text. Before moving on to module 2, let's have a recap of module 1. That what have we studied in module 1 and what were the contents of module 1. In week 1, we studied about hardware and software. And also we studied about hardware and software devices. We studied about the main parts of computer and we also discussed peripheral devices. While talking about peripheral devices, we discussed input devices, output devices, input-output devices and storage devices. Then, in week 2, we studied about the concept of operating system. That what is an operating system? Why is it important for the computer to function and how the operating system provides the interaction between the computer and the user? While studying the concept of operating system, we discussed the most common and useful form of operating system, Windows operating system. Then in week 3, we studied about the customization of operating system. We studied about different features and functions that Windows operating system provides to its user so that the user can set, the user can adjust the operating system in his own choice. In this week, we will start module 2 and module 2 is about creating a document. But before moving on to this module, first you should know that what is a document. So, what is a document? A document is any form of information and this information can be in written form or in electronic form. So, if we talk about a document in electronic form, then it means that the, that document is stored in computer in the form of files. Module 2. Creating a document. As I already mentioned that we will study about module 2 and module 2 is about creating a document. The name of the module suggests that we will study and we will discuss that how can we create a document in computer and how can we apply different functions, different features on our document when we are creating it in computer. So while studying module 2, creating the document, we will study about formatting the text, about font formatting, images and graphics, tables, and at the end, we will discuss that how can we check our document and how can we take the print of our document. In task 1 of module 1, we will study formatting text. As we are already aware that an important usage of computer is that you can write your text, edit your text, modify your text very easily by using computer. As you know, the text is very important. You write your text for making your technical, non-technical and formal documents. So when we talk about text, why is it important to format a text? Well, it's very important to format a text so that you can make your text more presentable, more appealing, 
more visually inter appealing for your user and more understandable. In order to format the text, we use Microsoft Word. There are many other applications as well, but Microsoft Word is a very powerful application for formatting text. And it is widely accepted among its users because it's simple, to, it's simple and it's easy to use. In Microsoft Word, we have a ribbon at the bottom of the interface Now you can see this is the interface of Microsoft Word and here we have a ribbon over here and uh, on this ribbon we have different tabs file, home, insert and page layout and likewise we have others as well. When we talk about a uh, tab it means that by using these tabs you can access different tools in Microsoft Word. And each of the each of this tab it actually deals with a specific task. Apart from these tabs, you can see over here that we have different groups: clipboard, font, paragraph. So each tab consists of different groups, and even in these groups, we have different buttons. And by using these buttons, you can perform the task that you that you want. And inside a single group, the different options, the different features and buttons, they are related to each other. So, for example, if you have written a text over here, any text, you can write the text that you want. For example, we have a text over here. And uh, if I want to make, if I want to make this text bold, then what will you do? You will select the text that you want to change. After selecting the text, if you will apply this bold, bold, and uh, when you'll bring your cursor over here on some button, it would show the shortcut key for that as well. You can see over here when I've uh, moved my cursor over here on bold, then it is showing bold, Control plus B. So, if you'll press it, then you can see that it has made your text bold. Similarly, if you want to make your text italic, then this is the option for that. Italic. And if you want to remove that and you want to change it to the normal, again, you will press the same button. If you want to underline your text, then here from here, you can underline from here you can make your text strike through and uh, if you want to change the font of your text then from here you can apply whatever font you want for your text. To change the size you can change from this drop down menu and if you want to change the color of your text you can change from here whatever color you want. And if you want to apply shading on the text, then you can apply shading as well from here. Okay. Now, uh, and if you want to remove anything, you can uh, remove that following the same procedure. For example, if I want to remove the shading from this text, so again, I'll go over here. And for that, first you need to select your text again. And then I'll go over here. And I'll press no color. So it has removed the shading. If you want to add numbering or bullets to your list, then you will select your list. And over here in paragraph group, you will click here on this icon. And whatever numbering format you find suitable for your list, you'll select from here and it will add numbering to your list. Similarly, if you want to add bullets to your list, you will select your list. After that, you will go over here in paragraph group and select this option of bullets. Here, 
They have provided you with variety of bullets. You can select whatever you want. And when you select the bullet, it will add it to your list. If you want to change the line spacing of your text, then for that, you will select your text. And over here in paragraph group, this is the icon for line spacing. When you click here, here are different sizes for line spacing. The greater the size you select, the more would be the line spacing between your lines. So if I apply 2.0, then my line spacing is adjusted according to that. 